Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create an NPC which is will follow the character. You can see this NPC is following the player. Okay, this is mine. If I jump jump onto the stage, the NPC also will find a way to follow me. It is totally AI. You can see. He follow me. The following the character. Keep on follow me. Keep on chasing on me. By using this technique, you can create some of the AI enemies, some of the enemy characters, just by using this method. So now, start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how to create this. Now, I will start, start from a new project. That is my Epic Game Launcher. I will start my Unreal Engine 4.26 and do a demo to show you step by step how to let the character follow you. As demo, I create a game, a third person game. The file name AI follow player 01. Create project. Now Unreal Engine is ready. This is the main character so far. The mannequin is the default character. Alright, so now I'm going to click content. The third person blueprint. Under the blueprint, this is your third person character, the main character. We are going to copy this. Right click duplicate. And I will name it AI character. Follow. Following. All right. This is an AI character following. If I drag it out, actually that is an NPC already. This is the main character. All right. I double click it. The event graph already have so many things, you can just ignore. Look at the viewport. The same as the main character, of course you can change the style. You can retarget on any character later after you set the AI following blueprint. Alright. So what should I do now? It is under, under the event graph. Here. A right click. Start an event tick. Then here, drag out AI move to to set this. Then pawn pawn itself. The destinations you have to get the actor locations. Get player character. First, get actor location. Get actor location as the destinations. The AI, the artificial intelligence, will move this NPC to where. Compile. Get actor locations, but the target should be the player. So get player character. Right, like that. Then you click compile. Now we can test the game. You can have a test. I, I try to play. Is that the AI is moving to me? It's not yet right. So we still lag of one step. Then 
that one you need to find from here not this That is a navigation mesh bound to drag, drag, drag out. Then press R to expand it until the whole map. Press the blue to make sure you bound the whole map. When you press P, you can see the location that that is available for the AI to follow. Yeah, this P to toggle this. So now I try to play, play again and let's try. You can see now, this AI is following me. It's following me, keep on chasing on me. It never delay, right? Once I move, it will move. So maybe if I want to add some delay here. So you can back to the blueprint there, AI character following. The event tick, start from here you can delay delay for delay for one seconds maybe all right now compile and try so that the ai will delay one seconds before following you see now delay one second so they look more natural the ai is very smart he will know he have to go to the stair there to climb up to, to chase for you. Delay one second. So every time the event tick will delay one second to make the AI response. Of course, you can set the one second to zero. Here, you can control. All right. That's all for today about how to let how to make the NPC follow the player. And this is the technique. You can create a lot of things, you can create AI enemy to come and attack you, etc. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell to activate the notification so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy animation and game developing. See you.